Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from TarotForHealing.com. Before I get into your reading, I do want you guys to know that I am doing a offer on my website, so do go and check it out. It's for the five card reading that I offer, so this is for you guys because of reaching uh, 4,000 subscribers. Plus, if you've been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, you know every time I reach a milestone, I always do something. So this is what I wanted to do for you guys. Now... This reading is for Sagittarius in the month of August, and I am still using the playing cards. I was going to change it up, but quite a few of you guys seem to like the playing cards, so I've kept them. And I'm going to be getting to, into the specific areas of your life with the tarot cards. So, the first card um, is the Four of Clubs, with the Four of Four, the King of Spades. Sorry about that. The three of clubs with the ten of hearts. What I see for you guys with these cards is, I see, I see that there there is an opportunity for things to become a bit more stable with you this month. I feel like for some of you guys, I can see you traveling. Or if you're not traveling, it could also be saying that, again, you've gone through the difficulties, you've gone through some things, but now it's like you can find a greater sense of stability, either within your relationships, people that you love, people that are around you, or you can feel a greater stability when it comes to a certain areas of your life just going better for you. So... What I see here is I see a lot of love and support that you're going to be receiving in August. I see a lot of feelings. I feel as I see a feeling of achievement. I see your ship finally coming in. So something you've been waiting on, you've been hoping for, something that you've been trying to do, it's like it's finally going to come through for you. A final choice, a final decision is going to be made and then everything is going to just be flowing for you. It could also be, which is interesting, you had the king of spades in the exact same position as the as Leo's, but their, the rest of their cards was completely different. But for some reason, it's like you both got the same card and it showed up in the same place, which is like really kind of weird <laughs> but um but then at the same time um like i said to the leos like this could be representing somebody that is an air sign as well um as well as it could be representing just you embodying that kind of energy um if this was representing a person it could be a situation where maybe this person has something to do with your ship coming in somebody making a final decision it could be like a boss it could be somebody outside of you that has an input on that decision being made so um so that could be really positive it could be positive news coming to you in that respect it also could be saying that maybe this this um air sign person could even be somebody that is a part of your family it could be somebody that is your partner and maybe the two of you together are doing something that is really um that you that, that is going to that is going to make the two of you happy Maybe you both experienced something that is going to make the two of you happy. Like you've finally been able to move into the house that you've always wanted. Or you've finally been able to maybe to take the trip you've always wanted. Or just to do something as a couple that you've been really like a meaning to do, really wanting to do. And so it sort of brings you that kind of happiness as well. So again, these cards could be speaking to different aspects of your life, whether it's your finances, your relationships and such. But I'm just seeing it's a very sort of, it's a happy energy. So something special is going to be coming up for you this month in August. Like I'm really seeing that there's going to be some happiness and joy that is showing up for you. And it could have been something that you've been waiting on, but it's like now it's like it's really coming into fruition at this time. So the card that has shown up to represent your work is a good card as well. It's the Three of Dragonflies, which is the Three of Cups in the traditional tarot. And what this card is basically saying is that there is going to be some celebrations of achievements, of success, of um, you and maybe colleagues going out having a bit of a drink. It could be you and your friends having a bit of a drink because um, you've accomplished something in your work. And again, it's like there is a sense of emotional satisfaction that comes with knowing that you have other people that are cheering you on or other people um, saying, yeah, you've done a really good job. And so um, 
again it's like it's a really positive card and this is what you've created for yourself like this is what you've done for yourself so this took your own hard work like to do this it also um even though it took your hard work as well this card could also represent you maybe um it may be even like a, a group success you know where you and maybe some other colleagues maybe you worked on something or whatever and 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 then you know like or projects or something and then you're both you're all kind of reaping the rewards of that um project or if you had a target um set in your workplace maybe you exceeded that target and so that's where sort of the happiness and the joy and the celebration is coming in as well but there is some kind of accomplishment that you're going to be receiving when it comes to your work and an, an acknowledgement of a job well done so that's really good Sagittarius now the next card is for those of you that are in relationships and you have the Queen Bee uh, and the Queen of Bees is the um, Queen of Swords in the traditional tarot now she <laughs> which is so interesting the way they've done it with this card where you see the heart here the mechanical heart because um, that so kind of represents the Queen of Swords she's not an easy woman she's not an easy uh, queen but at the same time it's like it could be representing in a relationship where you either have felt like you either have felt like there is emotions there between you and somebody else because she is a queen so there's going to be emotions there but she doesn't always let her emotions like be known and sometimes she can come off a bit cold or a bit hard hearted and it, it can kind of be interpreted as maybe her not caring as much or her not being as loving but it, there is love there so it might be saying for some of you guys that maybe you have to sort of express that love a little bit more maybe you have to show that love a bit more but then at the same time it also could be saying that maybe maybe you've kind of been through some upheavals when it comes to a relationship in general and maybe you're having to make uh, maybe a difficult choice maybe you're having to be the one in control maybe you're having to be the one to really say how things are gonna go when it comes to this relationship maybe the two of you have to be you know open and and kind of maybe communications need to be improved in a relationship as well but then even if it's like um even if it shows up like that i'm kind of feeling that when i look at your playing cards things still can be going quite positive though so maybe this might have been the energy that was that existed or that still could be hanging around in august but then it's almost like when this positive news or positive development or something comes through maybe it's going to change that maybe it's not going to be maybe maybe it's going to merge the two of you together and make you connect on even more of an emotional level so it's not a bad thing but I'm kind of seeing with this card a sense of um, achievement over challenges as well so again it's like there might have been challenges when it comes to a relationship but it's like you're able to get through that and maybe I, I also feel that this card is also speaking about your self-worth as well I feel like you're really gonna know like what you are worth this month in August and you're really gonna feel like you're just you're just going to be more in in tune with yourself and i think it, and i think all of that is going to come from the confidence that you get because of the achievements that you're going to re receive that's going to come to you in the month of august so yeah positive cards now <laughs> interesting <laughs> for those of you that are single you have the temperance card the temperance card can represent you uh reconciling with somebody else so again it's like a healing it's like coming together it's creating balance it's about changing the nature of things being able to uh maybe uh work things out with someone maybe you guys just needed to talk about things for the relationship to improve or for the two of you to give this thing a second chance but it's almost like you're you and this other person are prepared to do things differently this time around like you the same issues aren't going to show up again it's like you're both prepared to kind of start things afresh and anew and just take it from there temperance is also a card that speaks about doing things in moderation 
and it's about um, patience uh, as well so again it's like it could be saying that maybe that's what you needed to em embrace or maybe you have been patient maybe you've been patient you know waiting on somebody else and then you know you hear from them and then that's how you're able to connect with one another or it could be saying that even with the change and the transformation that can happen with temperance it's also about taking time to heal things taking time to make things even better than they would than what they have been but it's all about what you put into the situation so i feel like this is a positive card like if somebody does come back from the past or you start hearing from somebody um then it could be saying that it might actually be worth it reconnecting with this other person um also connected a lot with this angel that is in this card i feel like this angel has a message for you guys as well because to me it could be that maybe this scenario of you getting back with this person or hearing from this person is divinely guided like maybe it was you know the right the exact right time for you guys to merge together like maybe the first time around the it, situation just wasn't right like maybe that person was in a relationship maybe you were in a relationship or maybe that person was at a distance and all this other stuff like maybe there was something the first time that kind of got in the way but it's like this time it's like the scenario is going to be like so much better than what it was before so that the two of you can like really give this relationship a chance and for things to kind of take off and work out so yeah it also looks like there's lavender in this card as well. Lavender. Lavender is like a calming kind of, um, it's really calming properties. So it could be saying like if there's been any anxieties or worry about a relationship that that might be going away as well. So this card is the, it's the, actually the four of beetles, but it shows up reversed. The four of beetles is the four of pentacles in the normal tarot, like the traditional tarot. And because it's showing up reversed, I'm kind of seeing that if there's been any blockages you have been feeling, it's like they're, they're moving. So they're not there anymore. Even if you've been feeling maybe a bit defensive or you kind of been feeling like you don't want to open up yourself to trust other people or you've been kind of feeling like you have to like maybe you've been maybe even struggling to feel secure in yourself or in your environment like things that's going on in your life i feel like any kind of worries and fears of that nature can actually be fading this month maybe because you're going to see um how you, you how how good things are going like how it, how things are improving for you so maybe there's not going to be this need to kind of um like hold on to false senses of security because when this card is right up that's what it can be it can be almost like when you're trying to um like almost like when you're people that are like an example could be somebody that is scared to be poor like they're so scared to be poor they don't want to spend like a penny for anything but then it doesn't really bring them happiness because then they're just hoarding all this stuff and they're just so obsessed with the money but then there's nothing else that's really giving them any kind of satisfaction in saving that money or having that money there so it's almost like the, the attachments that you have to things that kind of can be kind of unhealthy but you're doing it for some kind of need or a false sense of security but then i feel like with it being reversed it's kind of saying maybe for some of you guys that may have been the way that you felt but you might be sort of letting go of that way of thinking um it also could be uh if maybe you've been think you was feeling a bit more um thinking a bit more about yourself this could be a time where you do actually think more about other people as well but um as a spiritual card i feel like it's just saying that you're not blocked anymore so for some of you guys you might even be experiencing or have experienced that maybe even your chakras have been blocked and maybe that's actually what's kind of being healed away like even for this card especially um oops especially for temperance representing healing even though this card did show up for the singles it also kind of have a message in it for just like um you know all you uh sagittarius guys in general and girls but then it also could be saying that um yeah with this healing that is taking place maybe it's able to open you up more 
maybe open you up to new experiences, open you up to maybe new prospects in love. Um, even for some of you guys, maybe it's your heart chakra that's actually been healed with the temperance card showing up. Like in a love scenario, it could be your heart that's being healed. Or maybe your, your faith has been restored in just life in general because you're seeing sort of positive things showing up here and there that just make you feel a bit better about your, your general outlook on the way that you look at your life or look at certain scenarios in your life. So I like this card for you because I'm kind of seeing that we're like uh, like upright. It can just be all these blockages. Maybe you're going to be surpassing these blockages. So there you go, Sagittarius. Peace and many blessings to you. And do check out my website. Bye.